Hello, my name is Mitra Johari. I'd like to tell you about a very special lady. She lives in a world a lot like this one. Close your eyes wherever you are. I can't verify that you're doing so, but maybe you are, and if not, that's okay too. There are no rules because we're in the internet. Open your eyes, meet Lucy. In her world, it's 7.15 a.m. Her alarm is set to go off at 7.30, but this morning she wakes up early. It's chilly outside, but the sun is shining through her curtains and she is warm. She knows she doesn't have to be anywhere, but there is a sense in her gut of knowing a task awaits. It is time. In this world, up is still up and north still points north, but there is one rule. You know the saying that you choose to love people every single day? In this world, you really do. Every morning, you must look in the eyes of the person in bed next to you and on the count of three, say yes or no. Yes, I love you. No, not today. You cannot lie because in this world, that's not an option. And what you say has consequences. There are only so many no's for each pairing and when you hit the cap, you're all through. You pack your things, leave your shared spaces, and go somewhere else. So at 7.15 a.m. and Lucy's eyes are open. She's warm in her bed and her mouth forms the shape of the letter Y. She turns her head to the right and realizes that her partner is gone. Her partner, who she shared her bed with every day for years, is nowhere to be found. He was the most beautiful person she had ever seen, far beyond the scope of her imagination. And now there's a pile of blankets that doesn't even feel warm to the touch. Lucy knows it's useless to look. He's not there to say no or yes. He is away and has been for a while, and she hasn't used up her yes for the day. She had the yes in her mouth. Now, where does all this love and validation go? She gets out of bed and puts on her clothes. The fabric feels unfamiliar. The world is different now that her yes is missing. Her mouth is still open and tense, ready to push out the sound when the moment is right. But in this world, you can't lie, and Lucy's mouth is already poised to use her yes. She can't say another word until she's given it away. At first, it feels beautiful. She walks up to her toaster. She could love her toaster. It provides a service and is very reliable. She tries, but the word won't come out. Could she love her pet cactus? She tries. Closer, but the words are stuck. A world that felt like a gift is now a disease. The days go by until they turn into weeks and months and years as she scans every face in the street looking for her yes. She considers loving a hundred faces, but deep down she knows her yes has come and gone. Lucy doesn't speak for years, but what would she even say? Her words are lost and she is too. One crisp fall morning, her eyes open and she knows it's time to give up. She decides to take one last look at the park by her house, the only place that feels untainted by her missing yes. She walks toward the bench where she always sits and she can't believe her eyes. It's Lucy's yes. He's there, older and with dark circles under his eyes that look a lot like hers. From across the park, she sees him mouth the word. Yes, yes, yes. Her bones are weary, but she moves quickly, her atrophied muscles bracing for their first use in years. He's here. The yes from all those years ago is here, and she has a yes again. She arrives. She opens her mouth to say the word, and the word won't come out. She can't say it. She doesn't mean it anymore. She loved the person who loved her better than fiction until he disappeared. Her yes doesn't exist anymore. The person stands, but the yes is gone. She can't say it. She doesn't mean it anymore. Rules are rules. But she's free. She turns to her not yes and asks, where did you go? Does it matter? No. She turns around and walks home. As she walks down the street, she feels the rush of language, the ability to love something or not, or to sing and say, one coffee, please. She doesn't have a yes, and now everything can be a yes. She climbs into her bed, and it feels warm for the first time in years, despite having just one body in it. She closes her eyes, and she does not wake up the next morning or any other morning, at least not in the world that she has spent every day in up until this point. Instead, she wakes up in a different world, a world where yes and no are not required. At first, it seems like a dream, but quickly she feels like an alien in this foreign land where the street signs are the same, but the rules are gone. 
She tries to say yes, but people look at her like she's insane, and after days of their glances, Lucy starts to feel crazy. Saying yes is radical in a world where no one has to, and she starts saying yes to everything and everyone just to hear the word that no one else is saying. She says it to walls, to paper, to strangers, to cars, to trees, to water. She says yes so many times that she turns into the word yes and lives in the dictionary with all the other words. None of them say yes to her either because she's the only yes in the dictionary, but she likes it that way. Lucy's yes is pure for having learned how and when to say it. At last, she is free from the world where everyone has to say it and from the even worse world where no one wants to. She makes a home in the pages and lives out her days as yes, surrounded by words and letters, no pressure to say the word because she is the word. Yes. 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 Close your eyes again. Who is your yes? Are you a yes? Don't tell me. I don't need to know. Either way, Lucy's story is over. What a special lady. Goodbye.